All right, welcome to another video. So um, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how we can actually uh, do some CSS as well as some SCSS uh, or SAS uh, in Next.js. So Next.js comes with built-in CSS support. That's all configured for you already. Okay, so you don't need to worry about configuring anything else. And for more information, please consult the documentation. Uh, they have lots of information that might fit your criteria, but I'm just going to show you uh, just how to apply some basic styles. So what I'm going to do is let me just move this out the way and let me go back to my application real quick. So we'll go to here. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to go over to one of my pages. So let's go to the users page and we have our, we have some basic data and let's say I want to style up this data. How do I do that in Next.js? Well, you can, there, there's, there's global styles and there's also component level styles. Okay, so let's say, for example, uh, in this globals.css file, this is where all of your global CSS will live. You can see that we have some default CSS. We have padding and margin set to zero for the HTML and body tags. We have a font family already set up. We have uh, links already already styled for us. And we also have uh, every single HTML element has box sizing set to border box. So if I wanted to add some other stuff. Let's say I want to change the background color for the HTML and body tag, I could do that. So let's change it to a black color and you can see that it's changed. Let me just make that a little bit less darker. There we go. If I wanted to style the text colors, let's change it to white. There we go. L nice little uh, dark mode. All right. Uh, you can also add style sheets uh, very, very, very easily. Okay. But also one thing too, is that this globals.css file is applied inside this underscore app.tsx file. So for example, if I were to delete this, you can see that all of our CSS is gone. Okay, all of our CSS is gone and it just looks not so great. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much what you do if you want to take care of global CSS. Maybe you want to, you know, maybe you want to move this global CSS somewhere else. You could, as long as you just import it inside app.tsx, which is the main, it's like the, the root, you can think of it like the root element. Okay, because this is where it handles rendering all the pages for you. you just put it inside here. Now, one thing that's really cool is we can use something called uh, CSS modules. So it's great for component level CSS. And you can also reuse those CSS modules. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, they actually have one called home.module.css that was created, but we'll create our own. Okay, but they, they only apply this to the home page. So what we'll do is inside, let's see, inside, let's go into, I want to style this users page. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to go inside my users folder and I'll create a file called index.module. CSS. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And let's just say, for example, I want to style this ID and this username. So let's just say uh, I'm going to go ahead and just create some random classes. So I'll do something like a uh, username and then I'll change the font weight to bold font size, set that to 32 pixels. Okay. And what I can do is I can go inside or really anywhere. I can import this in uh, this index.module.css file. So I'll import that up here. Okay. And what I'll do is I'm going to uh, call this import style from and then index.module.css. Okay. So what I can do now is I can actually go into the, uh, the P tag and I can pass in the class name attribute. And instead of actually passing a string and referencing the CSS class with CSS modules, we actually just reference the import, this style variable, and we can reference the username as a property. So if I were to go to my page, you're going to see that right now this ID has styling has custom styling. You can see that it says one and it's bold and the font size is a lot bigger. And you could do the same thing with literally anything. So if you wanted to, uh, let me actually change this to 
uh, let's let's change this to uh, user underscore ID. And you can also reference it like that too. You can also use a bracket notation. So if you want to reference it like this, you can do that as well. Because uh, some people like to have dashes or hyphens for their CSS. So if you're using dashes, you definitely need to use bracket notation. Okay, or you can just create like some kind of uh, some kind of enum and then pass that enum if you want to make it look prettier. Okay, so let's create another class. Let's change the font size to 64 pixels and let's let the color be uh, green. And let's go over to this p tag. Let's pass in the class name. Okay, notice how if I pass in just username, it's not going to work. That's how you would do it in React. Or, yeah, that's how you do it in React. Like with a Create React app, but with Next, we can use CSS modules. Even if you don't want to use CSS modules, if you just want to import it, and let me just remove this. If you want to just import it and reference the class name, it won't even work. Like you actually can't even do that. So it's better. So you have to actually use this convention. So let's just go ahead and remove this and let's change the style dot username. And there you go. We have our custom uh, styling for our users page. All right. Now you can also use SAS if you want to. Uh, if you're if you're if you're a fan of SAS, which I absolutely love SAS, uh, all you gotta do is just install SAS in order to use it. Okay, so uh, you have to install the SAS module. So let me go ahead and do that. So just do yarn add or npm install yarn add SAS. Let's run the app again. And all you need to do is just change the file to a .scss file. Okay. And let's just change the import extension. And then what we do is we can use SAS now. So let's say, for example, um, I want to go ahead and do this. So let me create another div. And inside this div, I might have an unordered list and a bunch of stuff. Let's just say uh, profile account uh, settings, right? So that's our unordered list. Now let me go into my CSS, so index.module.css or SCSS now. And if we want to use SAS, we could. So uh, what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and create a class name and I'll just call this user hyphen details. And then Inside, I can go ahead and reference UL on order list, and I can do a bunch of stuff. I can reference the list style type property and set that to none. I can uh, remove the margin or padding if I want to, right? I can do all sorts of stuff. So let's go ahead and apply this class to our div. So class name. And since we have a hyphen in our class name, we can just do style, square bracket, and then user details, and look at what happens to the unordered list. Okay, it's because of SAS. And again, I can also style the list, el this li the list items too. Let me change the color to gray, and you can see that the colors are now different. Okay, so that's just a pretty quick tutorial on how you can just set up styles. Okay, like I said, for more information, just go to the documentation and check out some of the recipes that they provide for you. All right. And um, yeah, that's just pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.